Uh, please welcome to the stage, if you will, the unwritten works of William Shakespeare! <laughs> Blouses, but tonight one of our number did not bring those with them. <laughs> we remain unnamed and unidentified. <laughs> but we are here to bring you one of Shakespeare's uh, unwritten works. He, he wrote a lot of things, but he also had lots of ideas that he just never got around to writing, so we have resurrected them from the dustbins of history. And we are here to present them. What we need from you are three suggestions to get us started, if you please. So, for our first suggestion, can I get a job that would have existed in Shakespeare's time, but maybe doesn't anymore? Poop sweeper. I heard brown. <laughs> What's, what kinds of things could you sweep that aren't poop? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> chimney sweep. I heard chimney sweep. Chimney sweep. <laughs> now, I've been last two weeks getting over a co bad cold, and the plague was a big historical event from Shakespeare's time. <laughs> What's another historical event that we could work in that's maybe not quite as dark? The War of the Roses. The War, War of the Roses. How appropriate. Sometimes when we think of Shakespeare, certain objects come to mind. What is one of those objects? Chimney Sweep. The, the War, War of the, of the Roses. Chandelier. Chimney Sweep. The War of the Roses, Chandelier. Friends, this is one of Shakespeare's unwritten works. <laughs> Under my nails, 
eyes and within my eyelashes. Right. Yes. <laughs> it lives in my heart, but now it yes. is my heart. It lives in my well. heart as well. Yes. yes. Oh. Go seek thy fortune. Rise not only in, in, in chimney flue, yes. but in fame and in yes. fortune. Yes. Above thy stature. I will be more than just a chimney boy. Step not only in space boy, <laughs> but in time. In time. In time. <laughs> I'm just going to take this one. No, Prudentis! No! I beg you to spare my life. I am only, but I'm a boy. I'm only 14 years of age. Uh, unfortunately, my son, <laughs> times are tough and we require all ages to join the battle. I, I wish not to be drafted. I I do not wish to war. <laughs> Reginald, we have spoken of this before. Your time of being a child is done. It is time that you join my regiment. The Reginald Reginald! <laughs> upon you, son, <laughs> and I tell you, with your help this year, we will finally make it through to the next power to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Their thorns may have stopped us before, but this year will be different. That we shall break through? This year, thou sayest, that we kill and kill so that we can get to the other side of the garden? Indeed, the I travels of have vexed me for too long. I say now, Father, this is madness. It is not worth it. Who cares what's on the other side? You shall never find out. Oh, it's lovely over here. Oh, it's lovely over on this side. Yes. Oh, are those perennials? There they are. Do you not hear the neighbors as they mock my garden? <laughs> Both of us, 
off. Your father's mm -hmm. insane type. I wish your mother was here. I wish she was here indeed as well. But she had been down and died in childbirth. <laughs> that's right, that's what I told you. Anyway! <laughs> But you don't see me hallucinating spirits in every inanimate object that takes my fancy. I hallucinate no spirits. Just not see me winking unto thee above. <laughs> I see you, Arthur. And I have a secret that you shall reveal to your entire household. It is I, your mother. I have been watching over you all these years. Get back to that point in a moment. <laughs> I shall take the horse tonight, Father. Ah! Thou shalt not prevent me. Father, you shall take the horse, but not the stallion. Nay, the nay, 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 the Shetland or nothing. <laughs> Thou didn't die upon the, the, the bearing bed as, as, as I did erupt into the world. I am so sorry, my love. I did. I had to wait until you were of age. I could not communicate as I was here until you were of age. Ah, these strange rules of the spirit <laughs> land. <laughs> Arthur, I do love you. Arthur. And my wish for thee is for you to leave this house. Yes. I shall leave tonight on the Shetland. <laughs> and I shall return after curfew. Oh, I love that! <laughs> Your father has become a tyrant. <laughs> he requireth that I have the pantaloons in the privacy of my own room. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. Teach me more. The 
centuries ghost. Ah. And thou hast not told me thy name, for I have imparted unto thee but the very identity of myself. But I don't find one who can teach me in the swinging of sharp objects as well. You see, that is your quest. My name has been lost to time. I shall give you a name then. Oh, that makes it easier. Yes. <laughs> uh, shall be Morgan. 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 The spirit of the room. What's that happening in this world? Yeah. It's like, it's funny, I want to play backgammon for some reason. <laughs> Welcome, friend. Let us seek out this master of swords. Uh, and take the revenge that we are due. Well, it's a pretty good job, isn't it? It is, I know. You don't have to tell me, but do it anyway.
beyond the veil and draw his spirit hither. All right, your training will begin today. This is how we do it.
to run around, but he's a bit cheap, so I think it's time for a clean sweep. <laughs> 